Hi everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. I want to show an example of uh, the multi time frame indicator and how you would design a trade based upon uh, these indicators and these readings here. So what I have here is Google, it's a good example and so you might have seen this video before. The top left is a 5 day 5 minute chart. The top right is a 5 day 30 minute chart, so slightly more longer term. The bottom left is a 20 day 4 hour chart. And then the bottom right is a Google three month daily chart. So if you just eyeball these charts on the five minutes, you can see that it's very choppy. You can see because if you maximize this cell, bunch of reds and a bunch of greens, they're not consistent. So it's all over the place. So obviously Google, you would not look at it for a day trade or even a short term trade. As you can see here, there is nothing here, even on the 30 minute chart. But what you see on the four hour chart is very interesting. So let's maximize this one and let's just study this. So on the four hour chart, once you see one or two, this is the master level indicator right here. And so once you see one or two, you can take the trade because as I said, once the trend starts to set in, it'll set in for at least four to eight of these bars. And so each of these bars are four hours. And uh, so two bars is equal to one day. So here, if you say, even if you got in here, and that would be a level of about uh, 1319 and you go all the way and you can see that uh, master level indicator is on completely and it doesn't even come off over here. There's one dot and as I said, uh, you can discount one dot but not two dots. So even if you stuck through this, you would still be in this trade. And so if you got in right here at 1319, you're there at 1343. So obviously when you choose a trade based on a four hour chart, then you want to give the option at least three weeks or four weeks of expiry so that uh, you give it enough time for the trade to play out. So that, that's the way you would be able to determine what is your trade time frame as well because if you look at four charts like this, you immediately know what is the short term trend, what is the uh, intermediate trend, the medium term trend and the longer term trend. The longer term trend is all five green dots. So you know that this is uh, you know, in a bullish uh, state and therefore taking a trade based on the four hour chart uh, sounds like a very good idea and that's what you would do. So this is one way of interpreting these multi time frame trend indicators. It will really help you in choosing what kind of a trade you want to get into on this particular stock at that time. Thanks.